Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel and my shop. And today we're going to talk about this Bauer 20 volt reciprocating saw. This is in brushed, not brushless. And this is right now on sale at Harbor Freight for $29.99. That's, I had to look at this twice. Like, do I have to buy a battery? Do I have to buy you know, another tool? No, that's out the door price, non-member. So that's good. So I picked it up. I did an unboxing with it. And that's in a different video. And then we're going to talk a little about, we're going to do a test it in the shop here. We're going to take it out and, you know, do some cutting with it. Now think about brushless. Brushless is, of course, longer battery life, more efficient, less heat. And you can get, get a lot more life out of, it, of a brushless. But... So what's the difference? Why would you buy a brushless versus a brush? The brushless are way more money. Maybe you're a person that doesn't use these that much. You know, maybe you're taking out using it once a week for five minutes, or you know, then this may be the the one tool for you. And it's cost effective, a lot cheaper. Now I do now I do have other ones too. You know, I have a I have the you know. 12 volt Hercules brushless I use. I do have the brushless uh, Hercules 20 volt. And then the course corded Sawzall, which I've had many years. Um, I've got a complete house with this. I love this saw uh, compared to uh, cordless. It's way more stable. It doesn't vibrate as much. You got the dial and down speed. But that, that's not, we're not going to see, we can talk about that later if you want, but you know, the quarter mark, your mark is pretty much dead. You know, no one, every, everyone's making quarter tools now, so that's where the market is going right now. Now, one thing I like about, of course, all the saws, all the, all the saws nowadays, you, you've got how you change a blade. Okay. You just pull that, pull that out. You know, there you go. It's, you know, put it back in. Now my, my Sawzall from 30 years ago, it, it was a, it was a little chuck in here and, and a key. So you had to, you had to make sure and trigger this thing. So, so it'll come out far enough so you could get at that chuck and, you know, turn this thing, and get the blade out. Obviously you don't make those anymore, but that was always a pain. So when all the saws now have all brands, now I have that type of quick change blade. It's really nice. I really like that. It's on all so. And of course, there's of course there's other brands on the market too. You, know, you got Dewalt, Dewalt Max 20 volt line. You got the Fuel line, Milwaukee Fuel line. Those run about 150. And then of course you got the Hercules brushless line. You know those are up around 79. And the DeWalt one actually is very interesting looking from any of these. And I, I will put the links in those in the comments. You can just take a look at the look at those, the, the Milwaukee and the DeWalt. Just see the of course they are a lot more money. I think for the price point for you know 29 bucks, I thought I'd give it a try to need in our sawzall. And I told my wife that I need in our sawzall. She just kind of she, she rolled her eyes. These are originally designed for demoing. Uh, when I have when I have my Milwaukee Sawzall, I demoed, you know, cutting two by fours out, cutting plumbing out, you know, cutting through nails. That's what they're mostly used for. I don't I don't think people are using these tools for demos anymore. I think a lot of people raise your hand if you're cutting branches <laughs> with these. Which is fine. That 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 seems like a lot of people are doing uh, pruning with these and stuff. But now these work great for pruning if you're right next up to the trunk of the tree. But when you start getting farther out that branch, you know, that, that, and that sod's going back and forth. So that branch is shaking, you know, and I found a tool like this is actually better. For that. And we can do a separate review on this. This is a really, really good tool for pruning. Okay. So back to this and there's many different blades. What I usually do is I buy a pack of them. You know, from Amazon, and I'll put that 
in the description too and there's many different blades main use what i use these these ones for is i cut a lot of brush out if I, you know there's tons of brush around this property it's constantly going especially this year for all the rain we had so a tree that grows down into the dirt well you usually you can't get a ch chainsaw a chainsaw you don't want it once you touch a chain the dirt that that blades on it's dull you're going to restart it so at this you can actually get down into the dirt right and, and you know cut that out and i got another video where i i cut into i had a goat fence and trees growing all the way through the fence so i just took this and i cut that entire all those trees all that fence so that worked pretty well that i had the hercules and i didn't have the bower when i did that so we're going to do a demo here of this which i brought a piece of wood and then what we'll do we'll do this and we're going to take it outside and there's actually something i need got a demo out there it's an old goat feeder cover that i've had that is falling apart so we're going to take this this brand new blade and we're going to cut it I mean, basically, that's that's what that's what these tools are used for. Does it cut better, my Hercules? I don't. I can't. I you know, tell you the truth, I really can't tell the difference. Okay, now we're gonna take this out, and we'll show you a couple more tests with this. We'll do a we'll demo a little bit of something I need to demo out there. Then we'll then we'll cut some roots out of the ground. You know, some trees out. Okay, so here's my old goat feeder cover I had this is actually my goat here I, I had a lot of goats for a while and now I just have one I cleared this whole entire fence line out you'll see a video on that of I had trees growing all on that fence line I use a recuperating saw not this one again it was a Hercules to clean that out so we're gonna do a little cutting because I don't want to waste everybody's time cutting this whole thing up this just to show you what this thing can do Okay, so that's a little bit of sample of what this thing can do, and then we're gonna do a little more, some more testing of our things. And now we got a pine tree, and the branch I'm gonna cut is six feet off the ground. Now again, if we, we try and cut out here, you know, farther out, this branch is gonna shake. You know, everybody uses these, knows what I'm, you know, know what I'm talking about, but so what we wanna try and do is get if we're going to do any type of pruning this, we want to get as close to the tree as we can so, this, so it's not wigging all over the place. So we're going to go ahead and just, just cut this off this tree. Okay. So we got a good clean cut. We're going to do another test. And here's what I mostly use the reciprocating saws. You know, I got this, you know, I got this, these junk trees growing all over my property. I can't get everything by trying to get stuff that's close to the house or I got a, a path going around the property. And if it saws all, you don't care if it gets full dirt or a blade doesn't bind. So that's just really nice about sawzalls. You know, it's a demolition tool, so you can, you can really 
put them through a lot of use. We're gonna cut this ball as close as I can get. back in my shop. Okay, so there you have it. Some simple tests of this. Worked really well. Um, to be honest, I mean, I'd have to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I, I really can't tell when cutting stuff the difference between this non-brushless bower and my brushed Hercules. Like I said, I have to do a side-by-side -side test and see, actually, this seems like it's a little less vibration, but, you know, I don't know. Um, then it actually, this trigger is very well speed, but how many of us run, you know, 99% of the time we're going to run these things full blast, right? When we're cutting through things. So I'd like to hear your thoughts. What would you use? What do you use a rip kitting software? Are you going to be doing some demolition? You know, a lot of people do use these for pruning. Um, let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. If you find this video useful in this channel. Uh, like always, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.